Uh, when I was about uh, three years old, I was back in Calgary with my dad and my brother. We used to go out on the backyard rink and uh, we just started playing hockey and it just escalated from there and kept going on since then. My dad used to play hockey when he lived in Stettler and then my brother played all the way up to Junior B and then he was done after that. So uh, I think our whole family is kind of hockey orientated. Uh, probably back in about Bantam. I kind of started committing myself more and more to the game and focusing on training and being ready for the seasons and that was probably the time that I started going full time in hockey. Uh, I played for the Okanagan Rockets last season. Uh, we were uh, probably the, we were actually second place team in the league. Went into playoffs, we uh, had triple overtime game against uh, Greater Vancouver Canadians. Lost and then we were knocked out in the first round there. So it was really tough on the team, but uh, overall I thought personally I had a pretty good season. And uh, you know, tough ending, but that's what can you do? Well, you know, the scheduling's main thing. Like every day you're there, you're doing a workout, you're doing a nice time, and you're going to school full time. It's exactly what I do here in Salmon Arm. So it prepares you entirely, and then you play every weekend. You don't have weekends off. You're ready to go, and the coaching and the general managers help out so much of being getting you prepared. It's best program in midget hockey, I have to say. Uh, well, Brando and Mishko both came down and watched me a bunch of times, and then uh, Troy Mick came out and watched me and started talking to me. And then after that, it kind of just escalated, and I AP'd with the team last season, came up for a game, and then it kind of just all fit into place. Well, as a team, we're doing awesome. Everyone's getting along. we got a great group of guys in the room, and uh, we're working hard. It's showing in our results, which is awesome, and uh, it's awesome, yeah. Personally, it's been going pretty good. Uh, just trying to stay in the lineup, work hard, do what I'm needed to do, and uh, just be a great teammate. That's the goal. I just try to be the guy that the team needs me to be every night. Just be on the ice, be ready, and just kind of be that guy. I'd love to be playing in the NCAA Division One hockey, and then hopefully going pro hockey after that. That's the main goal from here. Time now for 10 random questions with number 24, Marcus Mitchell, and off the top, favorite video game? Uh, probably Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It's either NHL or it's that one. Uh, best person to follow on Twitter? Uh, probably uh, Sammy DeMello. <laughs> really? Yeah. Real or fake Christmas tree? Real. Nice. The Mitchells like their uh, real Christmas trees. Now, speaking of the holidays, best gift you've ever received is? Probably a new pair of skates. That was probably the best gift I've ever received. You know, it's funny. It's either skate, stick, or some kind of video game system for a hockey player. Now, favorite NHL player and team? Uh, Sean Monaghan and the Calgary Flames. Not the Flames. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, my least favorite. Uh, best guy to room with on the road? Uh, probably Sammy DeMello. Again, so good guy to follow on Twitter, good yeah. guy to room with. Really good guy. Favorite article of clothing is? Uh, probably my hoodies. What do you do in your free time when you're not playing hockey or playing Call of Duty? Uh, probably fishing. Nice. Skiing or tobogganing? Uh, tobogganing. And you are? Marcus Mitchell, number 24, the Salmon Arm Silverback. Mm -hmm.